Welcome, welcome, welcome all my YouTube friends and fam back to another fantastic video here on the channel. Today I am playing Port Royale 4. It is a brand new game, just came out this past week on a Friday. And it was a game I had my eye on, but this game is sponsored by the devs who were gracious enough to allow me to have one of their keys to do this series for you with. Um, it is, for those who are not familiar with Port Royale, don't worry, I'm not really either. <laughs> but I can tell you it is a game kind of like Transport Fever, but it's set in the 1500s, 1600s, right around the time of where, you know, the conquest of land and all that with, a, you know, each of the countries trying to get as much of the world as possible uh, and also pirates. So, yeah, who doesn't love pirates? I love pirates and that's what attracted me to the game. So, but you're really not more of a pirate as you are more of a merchant in this one. It's all about trade and making money and uh, trading with other colonies and building up your colonies. That's pretty much the idea of the game. Um, this is gonna be my first playthrough of it. I don't wanna do campaign mode cause I'm gonna leave that to you guys for if you wanna buy it. And instead we're gonna go free game. So let's go ahead and get started today. If you guys are interested in this game, you can always check out the links below, pick it up yourself. Uh, it is available on Steam as well as Humble Bundle. I have links for Humble Bundle down below. You guys can check it out, get a great deal on it, as well as helping out the channel here, which is always great. So let's see, nations. We have uh, four different nations you can choose from in the game. You have England, France, Spain, and Netherlands. So each of the nations have their own distinct kind of things, um, such as Netherlands here. Reduce construction costs for all vessels with less than 20 cannons. Uh, residential areas are housing more citizens. So you could definitely go this route. Um, England, reduced construction costs for military frigates and ship the line. Oh, that's a cool word. I love saying that word, frigate. Just frigate, frigate all. Uh, all right, and France, let's see, we already looked at that one. No, we didn't, we looked at Netherlands, whatever. Uh, Spain, faster increase of workers and citizens and a higher base satisfaction of your citizens in your towns. So that's kind of good. I was thinking about playing as Spain, but I think I really want to play as England, even though their bonuses aren't that great. Uh, faster work in shipyards is kind of good. I think I just, I want to, I want to stick with England because even though it's not the U.S., England did kind of have the U.S., so, you know, and I am a U.S. citizen. I think I want to go this route. So let's go ahead and get continue. Now we have different things you can choose from as far as your, your character. Uh, you have Pirates, the Adventurer, the Merchant, and the Buccaneers. So let's take a look here at, uh, let's see here. The Merchant, nifty, courageous, thirsty for adventures. There is no deal she misses out on, no matter whether friend or foe is a traitor. She's esteemed and respected among all nations, which is why all ports are open to her, even where there is no entrance for others anymore. That sounds like some double lingo there. But anyway, uh, let's see. The Buccaneer. Where are my Buccaneers? They're on my bucking head. Despite his elegance appearance, he is still a swashbuckling daredevil and has excellent connections to the royal household. Thus, he has huge advantages as a privateer. However, he should stay away from shady activities because his deeds will be observed more closely than others. Gain five fame points at the beginning. Letters of Mark are 90% off. The Piratus, uh, one should not be deceived by her pleasant appearance because she is an uncompromising treasure hunter. However, she is frequently able to walk her way out of, oh, not walk, talk. She is frequently able to talk her way out of situations. However, walking away out of such sticky situations would also be good in her case. I hate to see her go, but love to watch her walk away. She has little understanding of building a town though, so eh, probably not gonna go that route. Like every true explorer, fearless, unconventional, full of beans, and always on the lookout for new knowledge. Full of beans. Don't want to be in a cargo hold with him then. He is not good at naval boarding. However, he has no need to conquer the vessels of other nations because there are other options for him. Uh, able to order vessels which he has defeated in battle. Hmm. I think I like this one. Now, uh, I have sort of 
kind of played a little bit here and it's already kind of got my flag set up but you could do different things here you can choose the color of your flag so black red yellow blue i like blue and i'm gonna go ahead with the cross swords there are other options you can choose black or white for each of these you can choose the skull and crossbones you can choose the marlin uh the king's crown the ship there the anchor i the beer keg powder keg whatever you want to call that i really like the cross swords we're gonna go with that however percy clark not a great name uh, archibald no riley green no archibald merlin ward no uh cody murphy no 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 i don't like any of these names can they not give me any decent names um Fine, I'll enter my own name. My name will be Phoenix Morgan. Yes, Captain Morgan to you. Who wants a little bit of captain in them? All right, let's see. Distribution of towns, your nation, regular. So uh, England, so it looks like I control Tortuga, Port-au-Prince, Santo Domingo, Isabella, Bearclaw, Bearclaw, uh, oh, Bearclaw. Port Royal, San Juan, Santo Domingo. These are all cities. Oh, I also control Guadalupe, Martinique. These are not bad. What if I do... Uh... Oh, I can have a much larger nation if I want. Can I do a smaller nation? I can. I don't like that. We're going to do regular. Distribution. Doesn't look like it changes anything on my end there, so... Yep. Yeah. Yep, I'm not seeing a whole lot of changes. We're just going to go with zero on that. Um, Tortuga, I've already said this is my hometown in my previous game of just trying it out, basically. Uh, I did play through all the tutorials except for one, so I think I kind of understand the game a little bit. Um, I can set all of my things here. Maybe we should do Port Royal as our base. Hmm. Nah, I'm going to leave it as Tortuga. We get 100,000 gold to start off with and one vessel we get. Our task list is mixed. We can choose this to be a little different. We can go military, economical, no tasks. But we're going to leave this as mixed so we get a little bit of mix of everything there. Resources and even distribution of resources among everything or random distribution. Eh, we'll, we'll do even. Discover towns is off. So if I turn this to on, it means basically I won't see the towns until I discover the towns. We don't want to do that. I don't want to go take a boat around and do all that. So, and we'll leave the level difficulty at regular. Let's go ahead and start our game. So, once again, this is Port Royal 4. It's either Port Royal or Port Royal, depending on how you like to pronounce it yourself. I'm going to say Royal, as in a Royal with cheese. All right. Uh, first things first, let's go ahead and pause the game so we can kind of get an idea of what we got here. So, all right. These are all the nations that we control down through here and one thing i have noticed about this game is when i'm zoomed in if i move my mouse it's very jumpy and i don't know if anybody else is having this issue or it's just me but see how if i move around see how it's kind of jumpy really bad if i that's only with the mouse though if i just use the keyboard controls it's much 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 smoother so that's really weird i've reached out the developers got in touch with me and they wanted to know my stats and stuff so I, I let them know my computer stats and uh, hopefully maybe it's just something I can fix on my end but I don't know what what is causing that but it's really jumpy and it's only when I use the mouse so I, I don't know all right so Tortuga is our home base oh look at that look at that neat little land feature oh that's nice water too neat little natural bridge it's perfect. I am from Kentucky myself, so natural bridges are a good thing to me. Uh, okay. hate that jumping around, though. Um, tips and information. There are several commodities with which the town has been poorly supplied for a long time. If you sell the following commodities in the town, you will achieve high prices. So we can automatically make a ton of money off of these particular price things right here. So ceramics, luxury items, clothing, cotton... We're producing wood, bricks, meat, and metal. Those are the things that we have that we can sell. We have a 2% risk of plague. 
Mm. Alright. Not too bad starting off here. Not too bad. Uh, we don't have a shipyard. We only have a repair dock. Uh, let's see what our Viceroy has to say. You are welcome here. Phoenix Morgan, you are welcome. We are currently allied with the Netherlands. Although the other two nations remain quiet at the moment, it does imply a certain safety. So we're not at war with any other country. That is good. From what I have heard, you could increase your cargo capacity further. All right, we could definitely do that. At the moment, I have no special tasks for you because it's unusually quiet. So, yeah, it's no special tasks or anything that can gain me any fame. Fame, of course, is what I need in order to level up and get things such as concessions here. So, I need like one fame before I can even get captains. I can't make anything without those. I gotta, gotta get all of these things through concessions. So, there are no known pirates in our waters at the moment. It's a good thing. Nations. These are all the different viceroys of each nation. Uh, England is Taylor Campbell. He's my viceroy. He's located in Santo Domingo. So let's uh, zoom out here a little bit. See if we got anything going on. So right there, Santo Domingo. Oh, they have clothes, and I just happen to need clothes. I think what I would like to do is start off with a decent trade route. So let's get uh, if I trade certain things beer uh, clothing what was it you said you needed again clothing ceramics luxury items and cotton all right so you don't really have anything down there you don't really have anything down there you do have clothing and cotton though and let's see could let's do this let's go ahead and grab what do you have down here nothing oh you have santiago has uh luxury items let's do this let's go ahead and we're gonna start trading with some colonies but before we can do anything with the colonies i can't do a thing until i get a trade license so we're gonna do a trade license with santiago we're gonna get a trade license with santa domingo and Isabella, does Isabella have anything? Yeah, it's in a way. I could probably go ahead and grab that one. San Juan. San Juan also has luxury items. Hmm. What else do I need? Wool, ceramics. Does anybody have ceramics? Uh, I, don't, I don't see any ceramics. Port Royal? No. No. Port de Padre does. But I don't want to go all the way up there just to come around back through here. Trinidad. I think we're going to probably hold off on the ceramics. Let's just go Tortuga, Santiago, Santo Domingo. And I did buy all of those, right? All right. So the first thing we are going to do in the game, now that we have got our trading license set up, is, of course, we're going to set some trade routes. So let's create a brand new route. And we're going to click Edit Route. Now, we can only... The reason I did the trade licenses first is because this way I can only see the cities in our trade routes. I can only connect trade routes with towns I have trade licenses in. So you notice none of the other towns are located here now because I don't have trade licenses with them. So can't do that. Uh, in order to set this up, we're going to go Tortuga as our first city because that's where we're starting at. Then we're going to go down here to Santiago. And then we're going to go down here to Santa Domingo and then back again. And that seems to be a decent route. So we'll be able to get to Santiago pretty fast. Back down here. It's going to take a little longer to get there because uh, you can see the trade winds. Uh, so these are like, obviously, if you're going against the wind, it's going to take you longer for your boat to get where it needs to go. You definitely don't want to be in the red. This is where storms and stuff happen and it can damage your ships. So stay out of the red if at all possible. Uh, I can also kind of uh, maneuver these around a little bit too, as you can see. So, yeah, we can totally do that. Um, this is fine, I suppose. We'll be able to get this way kind of quick. We'll be able to get this way back to Tortuga kind of quick as well. That seems fine. Now we're going to set up the trade in each town. Now, setting up trade 
can be as easy or as difficult as you want to make it. You can micromanage, go down in here, click on these, choose how much the demand quality is, do all that price automatic. You can even sell it to like maximum. You only want to pay 48 for wheat or anything like that. You can totally do all that or you can just turn everything to all off and by clicking all off these are all going to set to automatically do it so the game your captains of your ships and stuff once they get to each town they will sell off what they need to buy what they need to within reason and take care of everything for you it's the easiest way to jump into it without having to micromanage everything i'm not big on micromanagement so i'm just going to do, use these now we're going to set each of these towns for that there we go all right we're gonna hit confirm and I need a ship for this convoy. convoy. I don't have any convoy. So I gotta select my ship first. Yeah. Select our ship. There we go. And assign route to said ship. There we go. So unpause. And our ship will do what it needs to do. So as you can see, it's off. So we're going to head over to Barico. Or no, no, nope. I'm going to said to uh, Santiago first. Although we could have went to Barrico. I mean, we're going right by it. We could have just went there to there. Maybe we'll add that to the list later on. That's a possibility. Now, one thing that's really cool about this game that I really, 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 really like is if you zoom in, it slows down time. If you zoom out, time speeds up. And that's because, you know, obviously if you're moving time around and stuff uh you can change different things but it's really cool because it travel across the seas by zooming out is faster but by zooming in like when you get closer to towns and you just want to really kind of again micromanage you can zoom back in and things will slow down now i have the speed at game speed is one times uh so i can set this to pause to half the time one times or three times so if I set this to three times, that's only three times in here. If I zoom out, it's like going to be like six times the speed. So that's that's kind of cool. I like that. That's neat. Um, now we job had a job that just popped up here. Ah, you are arriving at the right moment. Our viceroy has something that he likes. In our towns, the commodity grain has been in short supply for a long time, while Spain has enough in stock. I therefore ask you to buy. 423 of that commodity there up by March up there by March by there up by March 3rd and deliver it to our towns. So I just had buy 423 of their of Spain's wheat. Okay. All right. I mean, that seems like a fairly easy task. I should be able to do that. Um, Santa Domingo is the viceroy's town. I bet it has a he does have a shipyard. So all we have in Tortuga, even though it is our hometown, all I have is a repair dock. I can only repair ships there. I can't build ships there. I can't even buy ships there, but I can at a shipyard. So Santa Domingo here has a shipyard. So we can buy some ships. Let's go ahead and do that. That way we can get this done. So uh, they have some schooners here, small maneuverable cargo vessels, inexpensive to purchase, maintain. Due to shallow draft, is not slowed down near the coast. Um, I want to get this done kind of soon, so let's see. I want something with more cargo hold. Let's, let's, uh, sloops, small, maneuverable, inexpensive. Uh, the sloop is faster in all wind directions and can carry more cargo. You sure about that? Mm, it's slightly faster. I don't know if I can carry more cargo, though. Let's. What about something larger? The brig. Inexpensive with good cargo capacity, travel speed as well. Shallow draft for full speed, even near the coast. I would like to get one of these. I'm just gonna buy one for now, cause I don't have a whole lot of cash. So we'll buy one of those, and it doesn't automatically put it into service. So to put it into service, once you buy a ship or build a ship, you go over to. To the lighthouse. The lighthouse is where your ships are. Think of it as being docked. Um, you can move. So I want to move our brig by clicking on it over here. Oh, the Enterprise. That's nice. I like that. All right. So 
That's the Enterprise. There we go. Is that the ship thing? I can't control the actual ship, can I? No. Alright, so Spain has... Spain has wheat, right? Who has wheat? Grain. Who has grain? Somebody has grain. You have grain. I could buy it from you. Who else has grain? Um... Anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody else? I could transport it from... Well, let's see. Who had it? I can't remember who had it. Was it over here? Yeah, it was over here. Port of Bow to Port Royal. You know what? Let's do that. Let's go. How much do you have? How much do you have? Let's take a look. Oh, they have a lot of grain. A lot of grain. Let's let's get a trade license with Nicolici. I don't know how to pronounce that. And let's get a trade license with Port Royal. All right. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to make another new route here. Create new route. And I'm going to edit that route. We're going to add Port Royal. Oh. Oh, maybe not. It's actually kind of bad. To... Maybe I should have went the other route. Well, we don't want to go through those storms, but we're going to have to. It's the only way through. Uh, all right, so this is where I'm going to be able to show you how we can actually maneuver these things around to get where we need to go. So I could... Now, by maneuvering this around, you'll see duration, depending on draft, is eight and a half to nine days. But we're going through the middle. You definitely see where there's no wind here? That's going to slow us down completely. So what if we took this route... It's going to be longer, but I'm just kind of curious. By doing this, if we can actually speed things up a little bit. It's not hurting us at all, that's for sure. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to have to do it that way. It's the only way that I kind of see that stay out of those headwinds. Uh, 10 days. Well, 10 days isn't bad. Let's confirm that. Okay. Yeah, wait. I want to edit the route. I forgot to do... There we go. Standard. There we go. All right, back around. Let's confirm that route. And let's see. We have a ship. We have the Enterprise over here in Santa Domingo. Let's assign that to the route. Wait. Nope. There we go. Port Royal to Neckleachie. Oh, but I need my boat. There we go. Assign route. So there we go. I've assigned the Enterprise to that route. Should go over there just fine. Let's see. Do any of you guys have wheat? You do. I could open up a trade with them. Hmm. Nah, we'll probably just... We'll, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. If I could have got it down here somewhere, though, that probably would have been better, wouldn't it? But I don't see it. Yeah, none of these places down here have what we need. All right, well, hey, we're trading with other nations. Uh, we're, make, we're making friends. Friends in other countries. That's that's fine. Maybe they will like us by doing so. And how is... 
down here. Where is our ship? Our ship is right there. The inventory. Let's see. Commodities. All right, that's doing pretty good. So building, of course, is something we can also do in this game. Uh, we can totally start making more stuff to produce in other countries. Uh, do I have anything with any stars or anything? Oh, Santiago has something. There's something going on over here at Santiago. See that star? Let's see what that is. Here at the sea, a young woman is looking out for help. Please help me. My husband should have been back days ago. He wanted to take part in a treasure hunt. Fortunately, I know his approximate position. Oh, do you now? So, if we accept that. Find Merlin Walker in this area by February 21st. He is close to Kahita. Kahita? Where's Kahita? Kahita, 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 Kahita. Oop. I don't see Kahita. I don't see Kahita anywhere. Is that even a city? Caracas, Granada, Port of Spain, Barbados. St. Augustine, Port St. Joe, Galveston, Corpus Christi, Bear Cruz, Spain, 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 Spain. End of the Portuguese dynasty. The king of Portugal, Henry I, dies childless and ends the dynasty of the House of Avis. Since he had originally been low in the line of succession to the throne, he aspired to a religious career to represent Portugal's interest in Rome. When he ascended the throne as cardinal in 1578, he asked Pope Gregory XIII to release him from his vows in order to be able to marry and produce an heir. However, Gregory refused his request to avoid upsetting Philip II of Spain. Oh, nice little history lesson there. Cool. I, I'm not... They... Cajita. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, hey, the Enterprise is coming back. To be trade any of Come that nice me. wheat? I've got something for you. Oh, we can't deliver it to there. Hold on, I need to change that to a different city. To somebody that doesn't need wheat. Because they're making wheat. That was a mistake on my part. Um... Do you need wheat? No, you don't need wheat. Do you need wheat? No, you don't need wheat. I don't think I like this. Okay, so trade routes. I want to edit this route. We're going to have to change Port Royale. Get that off the list. And we're going to have to take it over here to Santa Domingo instead. Not the best route. Because we're going to have to go through that storm. But... It is the most direct route. I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna see what happens when we go through a storm. Yeah, totally gonna do that. There we go. They're not making wheat. They need wheat. We will. We will totally do that. Confirm that. There we go. Now her quest, of course, is over here, and I do want to see where is my ship. Oh, it's over here. Wait a minute. Can I take you off for a little bit? Route disabled. Just real quick. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. We'll ship. I just want to see if I can find who we're looking for here. Maybe they'll see if they'll show up. These little quests. I don't have to do these. Nothing happens if I don't do them. But it does help me and I get a little bit of help and stuff from, uh, from fame and some other things. said it was near here so maybe we can find them oh I think I found him I have found Merlin Walker 
Your convoy finds Merlin Walker to safe and sound on the coast, but his vessel is no longer seaworthy. Can you help me get my vessel afloat again? I will then return to Santiago and leave the vessel to you, because this old hub, old tub, has already caused me enough trouble. A few sailors from your crew will help with the makeshift sure repair of the vessel. Then Merlin. Okay. All right, cool. Can we put the Enterprise back on a route now? Or is it? If I just let go of it? Okay. Let's get it back down here to send it there. All right. And then maybe it will take over from there. So he's going to get back over there, and is that going to give us a new ship? I think. This ship belongs to you once it reaches Santiago. Nice. Nice. Not a whole lot going on anywhere else that I'm seeing, but we will complete that. And we got a free ship out of it, which is quite good. And there we go. Delivered. Cool. So now I have a ship in Santiago. Well, I have a ship that's mine anyway. I think I need to click on the route. I think I need to release and then assign again. There we go. Route enabled. That should take care of it. There we go. All right. Now, how are we doing so far? You are far? arriving at the right moment. Uh, by March 3rd, we've already delivered 103. Oh, okay, cool. See, now we're getting it done. Getting it done. Now, Santiago. Is this my boat? Or is it over here? It is here. We have a sloop. I'm going to take, uh, oh, it's called the rocket. <laughs> I'm going to take the rocket over here to, let's take it back over to Santo Domingo here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to combine that with this ship. And we're going to make it into one convoy. That should help us deliver more goods back and forth because we need that fame so we can kind of get going with some other stuff so definitely going to get that da, 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 da. I'm just going to click on that there we go get it over there alright and the enterprise Oh, I can just click on the thing and click Route Active. Okay. Almost there. If I zoom, I keep forgetting if I zoom out, it's much faster. All right, there we go. All right, so we're gonna take the rocket. We're gonna click on the lighthouse here. I'm going to assign that. Disband the convoy. I'm going to click on this one. I'm going to click on the lighthouse. Vessels in harbor. Well, I want to choose my other convoy. The Enterprise. So, how many ships do we have in there? We don't have any. Do I have to put both ships into the thing? Maybe I do. How do I do this? Not the vessel. To move it from one side to the other. Vessel's in the harbor. Okay.
I should be able to select the vessels that are here and move them over, but I don't see how to disband them. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Let's see if I can move them over here. Convoy control. What was that? At this window. More vessels, are, please note, convoy free vessels and lighthouse must be in the same port. The convoy must have docked. When opening the lighthouse, the selected convoy in the port is always displayed on the map. That's why I had to dock them? Okay. And how do I dock them? Why is that not on a route? You should be on a route. You should be... Tortuga de Santiago? Sign that. That should be going up there. Don't know why that's not. Uh, but, these two, right here. I wish to dock you. Enterprise and I'm like, yeah. how do I dock a ship? Uh, when opening the lighthouse, the selected convoy in the port is always displayed on the left. Free vessels. And... Right. So if I click on that and then click on that, it doesn't show. But this is the port, right? So... Why well, can't I get a ship in there? Wait. Okay. And then, what's my other one? Enterprise? I can rename it? Okay. Here we go. So I should be able to, okay, so there we go. Put that over there. Disband convoy, okay. Come to the lighthouse. Disband convoy. All right, add them both into the convoy. There we go. All right, so that was a little tricky, but we were able to get it. Now we assign that to this route. There we go. That took me way too long, and ah, hopefully, you are arriving at the right moment. Hopefully, we'll still get this because we only have until March third. So, and that's going to take how many days for that trip? Um, I'm not sure, but hopefully, we'll get enough out of this one trip. We're, we're probably not going to get this. This is probably not going to happen, which is going to suck. Because I was really hoping to get this and get this fake. Let's check on this route. Convoy's in a route. Nah, not that route. This route. We'll take... Number of towns, two days. Convoy's on this route, active. Fights one. Doesn't show me... Only if I edit the route will it show me how long it will take. Oh, it's so far away. I don't think we're going to get this. Well, that sucks. Okay. Well, we missed out on an opportunity there. I took way too long. I should have paused the game because I took way too long messing with the boats. Probably should have added maybe more ships into it. Yeah. Ain't going to happen. I ain't gonna reach back before March third because it's March third now. So come to me. I've got something for you. 
by March 3rd and deliver it. Yep, I regret that you have not been able to provide our towns with grain. Dang it! I really wanted to do that. Okay, so that's cool. We'll get the next one. All right, so that will probably do it for this episode of Port Royale 4. If you guys are huge fans of this game, if you're experts at the series and played many of them before, if you got any tips or tricks for me, please put them down in the comments below. If you've never played the game before, let me know what your thoughts are on the game uh, or in the video in general. Uh, if you like the video, make sure you click that button that says, you know, thumbs up. I would love to see those thumbs up on this. We're going to be continuing the adventures here of Captain Morgan in soon-to-be episodes. So that's going to do it for me. Uh, if you guys haven't already subscribed to the channel, make sure you click subscribe and click the bell to be notified because I am trying to do daily videos as much as I can or at least multiple videos a week. And in the meantime, wherever you are in the world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Thank you for watching. I am out.